Pisces, welcome to your weekly Sidero forecast for July 13th through the 19th. My name is Athen. So a lot taking place this week. We have a new moon on Wednesday. Right when that new moon takes place, Mercury conjoins up to Mars and then opposes up to Pluto. So uh, big shifts, and this has been the continuous big shifts for you um, in regards to both either the career, it's really both career, public stuff, and the home domestic side of things. Um, you've had Pluto here in your 10th, transforming the career, your public image, things like that very powerfully for the past few years. And, um, you know, like I've been saying in your weeklies, balancing that with the domestic things that are unfolding. And so now you have a new moon. So there's new beginning shaping up in regards to that area, which is very nice, both in the uh, four weeks and six month time period, which is the lunar and solar cycle. Uh, but patience is and is a big emblem for this week uh, because of Saturn, which I'll talk about. But also Mars, who is um, you know very much about that self orientation, our desires, our goals, which has been very assertive, very driven um, about these fourth house matters, and conjoining up to Mercury, really emphasizing that um, is being opposed up to the planet that you know changes this stuff you know it's about creating non-attachment so it's very very important like i've been saying non-attachment about both the career and domestic side of life and then allowing things to change there and it can be very powerful things changing and shaping up for you um, especially of the mind of your actions of your desires of your even resources mars rules your second house mercury rules your fourth naturally so um, relation to the home relation to your one-on-one -on -one connections will be changing this week you know on some level mercury ruling your seventh so a lot of areas being activated a lot to learn about the drive and assertiveness for all of us in general a lot to learn about um, your values in life, which is Mars ruling your second. But um, the greatest advice I can give is that non-attachment, and there can be certainly some positive changes here, shaping up for you new beginnings uh, in relation to uh, fourth house, which is home family. It's also um, your emotional body and your anchorage and your roots in life in general. So um, all of that is also channeled into the 10th house, which can be creating uh, this consistent change with career and stuff too, but finding the balance is key. So that's going to be the uh, high point, the key energy here on Wednesday and um, all week, uh, at least Monday through Thursday is the strongest. Saturn will be squaring up to Venus. So uh, that's why it's really this, this patient week. And it's also because we're in the new moon phase, which is about patience. But here Saturn recently went back into your eighth house where he had been for the past few years, helping you get more disciplined and more serious, like about the deeper elements of life, about the ebb and flows, about how to, you know, have that mature take on transformation, if you will. So you guys have already pretty much mastered this, but there's one other kind of thing for the next couple of months that needs to be restructured about this area of your life with Saturn going back into that eighth house of yours. So that's being activated this week because Venus does rule that eighth. So um, Venus here is his patience with these things. Venus is also uh, the ruler of your third house. So patience with your communications, correspondence, bringing that extra conscious attention to that, that, that pragmatic, you know, articulate um, energy, which is Saturn uh, into those areas will be important. And Venus, who has been transiting your fifth house with Jupiter, there's been a lot of enjoyment um, in regards to your self-expression or creativity and fun and joy, which is going to continue to be the case with Jupiter still transiting your fifth. Uh, but Venus is now shifting into your sixth, where she's going to go retrograde here on the 25th and then dip back into your fifth. So in a nutshell, what's happening is that this week there's this uh, shift into you certainly being able to enjoy uh, more of the routine, the health, the diet, the daily work environment, things like that, which um, you know you can find very enjoyable. Just take it nice and slow with Saturn. You see, that's that's the important consideration with that. So it's just this patient week, especially about the deeper side of things, about the work, the day-to-day -day stuff, the routine, the health, etc. So um, that's the bulk of it. The new moon uh, opposing up to Pluto, that Mars opposition, you know, uh, energy is the strongest, non-attachment there, positive changes when we are non-attached, and then uh, patience in regards to also your self-expression as well with Saturn still somewhat aspecting that fifth house you see. So, um, you know, things that you create and stuff, having that really disciplined approach to that. So that's the uh, week in a nutshell. There's also some aspects that are taking place, um, you know, secondary to these major 
um, aspects. And that is on Monday when the sun squares up to Uranus, who uh, has been transiting your first house. So you guys are stepping into that freedom, hopefully, of self. And all of that can be very constructive in regards to the you know, these new beginnings shaping up about home and family and past and roots. So the key here is to not go to any extremes because you're in a square energy can sometimes be wanting to make some sudden changes, wanting to break free. And again, Discipline, patience is so important with this kind of a square energy from Uranus. But if there is anything constructive um, about home and family to work on and put the energy into relating to freedom, certainly a good time early part of the week. Mercury will be trining up to Neptune. So there's a lot of uh, very well aspected energy from your 12th and has been the case last week as well which is about um, you know, going with the flow and trust and having faith and tapping into your, your intuition and psychic abilities, which are naturally high for you Pisces anyways. But um, all of that is supporting the, um, the uh, these changes with the emotional body, home and family. So listen to that intuition this week, especially around Monday um, and over the weekend. And I think you'll find that... Um, you know, supportive nonetheless, and and then there's a flow about it too, which can come you know quite easy when we do have that uh, that trust. So that's the early part of the week. The sun will be trining up to Chiron, so that is um, you know more healing. There's healing is positive from the twelfth house, from dream space, from rest and relaxation, which is nice, supporting the fourth, and um, and then of course that new moon on Wednesday. Then we have that. Um, Saturn squaring Venus all week up until Thursday. Then Saturday and Sunday, Mercury then forms a square up to that Uranus. So again, emphasizing over the weekend, patience with self, patience with any goals and ambitions and drives that perhaps um, you're wanting to implement. But constructively, it is a new new moon. So there's a lot of new beginnings shaping up. But your sun and Mars are at the bottom of the chart, by the way. So your energy might be lower right now. And that's okay, because um, this is the time to be working on you know emotional things, your sentiments, things that are close to your heart. So um, channeling into that in a balanced way over the weekend as well. And all that can be very healing with Mercury trining up to Chiron from the 12th, especially when you're getting that rest and relaxation, which again is supporting this. So in a nutshell, new beginnings shaping up for the home family stuff and past and roots and emotional body. Um, patience is going to be key as well as not getting too self-oriented, self-centered, you might say, around you know these fourth house matters. There's still energy there, so put it into it, um, but um, keeping things uh, balanced, especially with the career stuff, which is um, changing, and there's still energy to be changed in regards to it. So Pisces, have a nice week. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you again for all of your support, and I'll talk to you all next time. Take care.